Hey guys, Thrift Hunter here. Just a quick little um, video. I want to talk about these junk jewelry lots on eBay. Um, a couple people have seen them before, and, and I've sold um, a couple as well. But I, I buy these every, you know, maybe once a month. I mean, they're just fun to go through. Um, I wanted to get you guys' opinion about buying these and maybe reselling the stuff. I mean, this lot I bought for $42, and that included the $15 shipping that I paid for it and um, you know I kinda got screwed on on this particular um, lot because this is a large box and it doesn't even <laughs> fill it halfway um, and there's all these bags and it's all beads and it's really just crap and it came with these plastic cases I mean this was supposed to be a 12 pounds of jewelry lot and, and this is I don't know maybe 8 or 9 pounds so I mean it came with this stupid plastic Came with this stupid wooden box. Came with like um, newspaper and you know, it was maybe 12 pounds including the box and everything. I mean, I could have gotten this for, I mean, if they would have dumped all this out, the shipping only would have been 11 bucks. Um, but, you know, it, it it's never like, um, it's like buying a storage unit. I mean, you just, sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad and it's just, it's really just sometimes you get lucky, but I mean it really does not take very much for you to make money. I mean just a little bit. So I'm going to show you what, what I got um, actually out of this lot. So I'll kind of just show you. My, my work area is a mess here by the way because I've been listing and stuff. But um, So I got a sterling ring setting there. A uh, sterling, that's got a sterling mount there. This, um, this piece here actually, um, if you can see it. Well, is uh, 14 karat gold. This this clasp. It's old. It's Victorian. There, there's actually a um, like a rough diamond in there. Like it's an uncut like diamond or whatever. But it was white gold. I dropped my 14 karat acid on it because I was just uh, wanting to be quick, and it stripped all that white off. So it's, no, it's just gold. Um, but yeah, that, that's 0 0.3 grams. So I mean, even that's you know seven bucks or whatever gold. Um, let's see, yeah, sterling ring mount, I mean, that's obvious stuff, and that, sometimes that stuff's in the lots, I mean, I've had better lots where they, anything that's broken, they throw in the junk lot, so if it's broken gold, if it's broken silver, they just throw it in the junk, because it's broken, like, they don't even look at it. Um, but the real find in this lot was, was this claw, or tooth, or whatever, I think, it might be a tooth. Um, it looks like a tiger's tooth, it's kind of hard to see on the tan background. So it's got a silver mount. I mean, something like this is obvious to me. I mean, you see the silver mount. All these beads are handmade. I actually tested them, and they, and they are silver. There's one one bead here that's you know nice and silver. So that was like you know eight grams or something in in just silver there. Um, silver, gold on silver. Some gold filled um, gold filled earring here. I actually thought that was gold for a second. I was like. Oh, but it's gold filled. Um, nice piece of gold filled. This is Avon gold filled here. Um, one of these little sterling um, Indian or Native American bracelets or whatever or necklaces. Excuse me. Um, a silver toe ring. You know, overall I got I think it was like twenty dollars worth of uh, precious metals, including the the little gold piece. So you know that pays for you know about half of that of that whole lot. I mean. Uh, off of this stuff, I mean, I'm going to sell a lot of uh, jewelry just like this, but mine's going to be like 18, 19, maybe 20 pounds. So I might get like, you know, 50, 60, 70 dollars for a big 20 pound lot of jewelry junk. Uh, so I, I'm not really going to lose any money. I mean, I didn't make any money, but that's just because this lot came in underweight and whatever. But I mean, sometimes you win, sometimes sometimes you lose some. And, and you know, if I had retailed this stuff, I might be able to make some money on it, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I got that. This thing's cool, too. I actually got this in there. It's a little ID tag, sterling. Pretty old. I mean, you know, this mark gold on silver, this little clasp. So you find little pieces of, and it, and it adds up. I mean, if you imagine, if this lot would have been full, I probably would have made more than my money back. So uh, I bought a couple that I've found some good stuff, but I want to get you guys' opinion on, on buying those, you know, for the purpose of resale. And here's this little update um, on my mice and figurine. Current bid is at $455, so uh, yeah, kind of caught a lick on that one. Did pretty good. Um, 
that one's going to go for a lot of money. So check that one out. On uh, It ends on Sunday. It's going to be pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, I got some more gold filled. I got a list and, you know. Uh, here's a couple other little, there's some costume things that came out of the lot. This one's Mamzelle, and this one's Sarah Coventry, which is actually a really nice um, Sarah Coventry brooch. So, uh, I should do okay with all this.